Come on, man. And with the local DBC news, Welcome to HBCU Game Day Weekly. I'm Tali Carr along with Stephen J. Gaither. Stephen, is my math right? Is this week number four of the college football season? Are we a month in already? Yeah, Tyler, this is week four. Uh, we have already a fourth of the season under our belts, which is great, but sad at the same time because we know it's going to come to an end at some point. But, yeah, here we are, week four. All right, well, the big matchup this weekend, I know you're going to be there. It's the Battle of the Bay, and so we're going to go to Virginia. And, man, they're pretty on the water. Hampton, Norfolk State, that is just going to be the game that people are going to have their eyes on this weekend. What do you say about that game? Yeah, that's definitely going to be uh, the game uh, to look forward to in the MEAC. Uh, that game, uh, you know, since they've been playing, you know, since, you know, forever back in the CIAA, it's uh, has always been, you know, a really big rivalry game. You know, you got the private uh, school, you know, they got the private school uh, at Hampton and the uh, in-state school across the water at Norfolk State. And uh, those guys like to mix it up. And it's one of those great rivalries that you don't necessarily hear a lot about uh, outside of there. But, uh, you know, it, it's very intense and also very competitive. All right. So Hampton coming off the big win against Howard, the battle of who is the real HU. Uh, Norfolk State, you know, this is an interesting year for them. Uh, brand new coach and Coach Scott. What do you see from Norfolk State heading into this game? Well, Norfolk State, uh, those guys, they're coming in, they're 0-3, so that's what their record says. But, uh, you know, you have to look at, dig a little bit deeper. All three of the games that they played this year have been against uh, FBS teams, money games, if you will, Rutgers, uh, and then ODU, and then also uh, Marshall. So, you know, they have really haven't had a chance to measure themselves up against FCS com competition. But, they, you know, and the scores weren't that great. But, you know, if you look at it, they got the lead early at, North, at Rutgers, which they had never even scored against Rutgers in three previous games. And then last week at Marshall, they got the lead early as well. So, you know, you look at that and you take those away and you're like, you know, this is a team in the MEAC that could make some noise, you know, once they get jailed together. Cause this is, you know, again, Coach Scott's first year. And Hampton, they are just one quarter away. You take away that fourth quarter against Richmond and they could very easily be 3-0 and and undefeated heading into this game. Right, exactly. Yeah, they come in this game 2-1. and one. They got their win against Kentucky State. Uh, had the lead against Richmond and it kind of got away from them, but they were able to bounce back last week. Uh, on national television, uh, the battle of the real HU, even though we all know that uh, Hampton was the Hampton Institute and Howard was Howard University before that. But anyway, yeah, they got, they got that win there. So, uh, again, this is another rivalry game for them, and uh, this is going to be uh, a big big game for uh, Coach Maynard. Uh, you know, this is uh, his second year of this, uh, this project of turning around Hampton football, and uh, if they can turn this corner and beat Norfolk State, um, that's really going to go a long way. That's going to match their win total from last year. And, uh, you know, we finally get that matchup that, you know, Maynard versus Scott that we didn't get to see back in 2013 at the CIAA Championship. Yeah, who can forget that? Uh, A&T off this weekend. North Carolina Central off this weekend. Central will be uh, getting some time to heal. I know they, they had some injuries in their loss. A&T has to be feeling a, a little, little good about themselves with the close win over Elon heading into the off weekend. But all eyes definitely in the MEAC will be on the Battle of the Bay. Uh, let's quickly switch gears over to the CIAA. And not far from that game will be another game. It's actually going to be in Rocky Mount. Actually won't be at Elizabeth City State, but still not too far there. Uh, as Winston-Salem State and Elizabeth City, Down East Classic. You had a chance to check out the Vikings last weekend. Uh, we kind of know the Rams have been struggling this year. How, how does Elizabeth City State stack up, Stephen? Well, Elizabeth, Elizabeth City State uh, is uh, actually the opposite of Winston-Salem State. They are 3-0 and unofficially, and we say unofficially because their first game against Virginia, VUL, didn't count. But they are uh, coming off a good win against uh, against St. Aug, 23-0. Uh, a little sloppy there, but uh, they were able to take care of business and come home with the win. And so uh, this is a big game for uh them as well as Winston Salem State, the the CIAA Northern Division is really doing well. Um, you know, you got a, a lot of teams with two wins: Virginia State, Virginia Union, uh, and uh, and even Lincoln. So the CIAA North is doing really well, and they are uh, you know they're trying to keep pace with that, and they're trying to get a little payback from you know having lost to the Rams in those back to back CIAA championships, and then again last year in Winston Salem. You know, the games with Winston have been very interesting this year. 
Uh, they start out, they always seem to score first, have a pretty good first quarter, and then they just kind of don't go anywhere after that. And then the way the game ended last weekend with just the debacle there, trying to play the live ball off the punt at the one-yard line. Uh, I know many Ram fans, if they don't get a win this week and start out you know, 0-4 and, and, and haven't even seen Bowman Gray Stadium yet, I know there will be a lot of people seeing red in a, in a different type of way, Stephen. Yeah, it's um, you know, it's one of those things where it, you know, okay, coming into the season, they were predicted to win the CIAA, and I felt like that was that was interesting considering how much that they lost, um, you know. But they, uh, you know, they're zero and three start. They're a young team, you know, as far as offensively, and 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 a lot of those key pieces from the last couple of years aren't there. But uh, you know, they've and they've had to play some tough teams. But uh, I mean, you know, Elizabeth City State isn't ranked, but again, you know. Them as well as the rest of the CIAA, they have, uh, you know, had to bow down pretty much to Winston Salem State the last couple of years, and so I know uh, with them looking like it's not, gonna, they're not quite as strong as they've been. Um, everyone is going to be looking to getting their payback. You know, when you put, you know, forty and fifty points on teams, you know, consistently for a couple of years, you build up a lot of animosity. So uh, those guys are going to have a tough task this week if they want to get that first win. It's not going to be easy for them. The big payback. I'm mad. That's the way James Brown said it. Uh, he said it much better than I did, but a lot of people looking to to get some revenge. Patience thin. Want revenge against the Rams. All right, so, Stephen, you'll be at the Battle of the Bay, so we'll check you out on Instagram, on Twitter, live tweeting from the game. Uh, just look up hbcugameday.com on Twitter and on Facebook as well. And we'll also have a camera at Winston-Salem State and Elizabeth City State, so we'll have a complete wrap-up of that game coming to you on Sunday. But definitely for the weekend, uh, we're always on top of it on Twitter, so please join us there. Thank you so much for joining us on YouTube, Facebook, wherever you might be watching this. This is HBCU Game Day Weekly. For Stephen J. Gaither, I'm Tali Carr. We'll see you at the field.